What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another MMA update where I'm sharing my progress and how I'm doing with my MMA training. Started about probably about a year ago with the actual MMA stuff. You guys know I've been doing jujitsu for a number of years. Took a day a break, damn break during the pandemic, but came back strong and then decided to get into MMA and actually try to get a fight in the cage. Had a couple of guys ask me over the past, I don't know, couple of weeks how the MMA, like when the fight is. I don't want to give anyone the wrong impression. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not there yet, right? I'm not ready to do that. Um, but what I'm doing right now is training six days a week, training wrestling and grappling, wrestling and jujitsu primarily, doing uh, a lot of no gi, doing a little bit of gi too, because I want to get the stripes. Uh, I want to get, I honestly, I want my purple belt, I think, before I step into the ring. <laughs> It could be a fucking number of years at this rate because I'm only a one stripe blue belt. But the harder I work, um, and the more like the more smarter I work, the the faster that will happen. And uh, you know, it's really it's not about the belt because I can go out and buy a fucking purple belt, but it's about the skill set. Uh, but I'm wrestling now. Like I've actually started doing our wrestling classes that we do on Friday afternoons. It's MMA centric wrestling, and that already has started helping my game. I don't have great takedowns. Uh, always all in the Krav and the Wolf's Combatives and the CQC and the gutter fighting that I've done. It's been a lot of cooperative takedowns that rely on chopping someone and judo throw and that type of thing. But you know, you come to find out when you do a lot of uh, a lot of wrestling or a lot of MMA that that stuff doesn't really apply that much. It really just doesn't. Uh, not when you're fighting other skilled and trained fighters. So grappling six days a week is what I'm doing. Since I came back from Thailand, I haven't been doing a lot of uh, striking, really much of any, honestly, because I want to focus on my wrestling. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm constantly pretty sore and tired. 37 years old is not typically when people start training for a fight like this, but hey, uh, better late than never. This game is incredibly psychologically tough as well as physically challenging, right? Like, like I said, I'm always sore, always sore. Like I'm always feel beat up. I've always got like a black and blue somewhere, but um, that's fine. I can deal with that. I've dealt with that my whole life. Um, well, since I, since I got lost all the weight, at least I've been dealing with being sore, but um, psychologically it gets really tough because like a large part of me feels like, Hey, Will, uh, you really should be a lot further along, but then I've got to cut myself a break sometimes and say, bro, like, come on, man, you've only started training actual MMA. Um, what, like almost a year ago now, something like that. So, um, might take a little bit longer and i realize that but it doesn't feel good and especially for a guy like me i really want it to happen and i want to like do well at it and you can't do well at doing something like this every single day you just physically you burn out and you get tired and like that's when you get tired you don't fight as well like if your body's not in homeostasis I said homeostasis get your mind out of the gutter if your body's not in homeostasis then um, you're just not going to fight as well, right? Every every fighter out there knows the feeling when, especially when you're training six days a week, like you walk into the gym on Monday feeling as sore as you did on Friday, like doesn't, it just doesn't, it, it sucks, right? But it's what it is. And I actually really do love it. Uh, the diet's been hard for me because it's like, well, how do I get enough calories in, but also like stay in a calorie deficit? I eat healthy, but... My weight wants to stick around 190 right now. I figure, you know what? If I'm going to fight at 185 anyway, I might as well just get as jacked as I can. So I'm doing a lot of weights. I put a good amount of muscle on since I came home from Thailand, actually. It's weird. I don't know how that happened, but it did, and that's good. It's really a good thing. I'm looking a little bit fuller and feeling a lot stronger. So um, that's kind of where I'm at right now, psychologically feeling very worn down. I'm ready for a break during Christmas. Uh, I'm going to go and visit my family in New York and um, that'll give me like five or six days off, including travel and my body, frankly, freaking needs it. Another psychologically thing that gets really daunting for me is making these videos and I've gotten a lot of hecklers lately. And like, frankly, um, usually I brush, brush it off. But what really frustrates me is um, 
I fight every single day, well, six days a week. And when I get these hecklers coming on here and talking shit, I want to fight them. I really do. Like, I would like to, anyway, I, I have to be respectful. And I realize that a lot of these people aren't fighters or like they don't, they have a, a bad life and they need to lash out at somebody. And so they hide behind their computers and they lash out at whoever is convenient to do so. Right. But it frustrates me uh, sometimes because they're hiding behind their computers and I can't get them. And uh, that's what frustrates me. So if you're one of those people, Hey, thanks for just frustrating me. Honestly, though, because it makes my, it makes me more, <laughs> it makes me fight harder when I do go and trade. Cause you know, I think about it and I think about visualizing one of those hecklers and fucking just throwing them around. And, um, Anyway, I shouldn't even have said that because now I'll probably get more hecklers, but <laughs> whatever, man, like it's part of the game. I put my face and my name, my real face, my real name out here on YouTube. And uh, not a lot of people have the courage to do that. Nine times out of 10, actually 10 times out of 10. If I click on one of these profiles of a heckler, there's no picture, there's no name, there's no content. So like, I'll listen to you if you put your channel out there and you put your ideas on martial arts out. Anyway, I'm sorry. I don't mean to like get on that. That's like, but you guys can tell I'm psychologically getting a little bit burnt out here. So what I'm going to do is again, take those five, six days, try to recoup, let my adrenaline come down a little bit. Um, let my cortisol levels hopefully dip a little bit and come back fresh fight after the new year's again. And, um, I'm just going to keep plugging away at it, guys. And I realize these these videos really don't get a lot of views at all. It's cool. Like, I I understand. I wouldn't probably watch myself. Uh, some guy talk about his MMA journey. Maybe I would a couple of times, but not. But for those of you guys who do and care about, like, the channel and, like, have been with me for a long time and, like, strength and honor, it means a lot. It really does. And for all of you guys who do put the positive comments out there, some of you guys actually go as far as like defending me in the comments. Like you don't need to, but that really makes me feel like um, supported in, in a world where everybody is so hostile with each other. Everybody fucking hates each other so much and like seems to think that they want to kill each other until it comes down to it because you're not a killer. Trust me, unless you're a killer and you know, and you're not like talking shit. Killers don't talk shit a lot, but it's it's a hostile world out there so whenever we can find a tribe and get and get together and support each other um it means it means a lot so thank you guys for the ones who are supporting me out there and i it gets an average think these videos get an average of like 30 something views 60 something views <laughs> all right cool like i appreciate each and every one of you very very much actually more than you know so thank you again for being so supportive that's where i'm at guys gonna be keeping on keeping on working really hard i'll take off when i get injured that's it's often, honestly, like in this game, fighters are always out injured. Um, I am going to start going back to sparring and to the amateur fight team, like stand-up sparring practice, hopefully after New Year's. Um, we keep working on that. I'm also going to – I really want to get into boxing and get myself in a boxing gym because my kicks, like, are shit. They're always going to be shit. And so I'm just going to double down on my hands. <laughs> honestly like i've got decent i've got decent hands i boxed decently like i'm not a boxer but i box decently i'm just gonna double that on that box and wrestle and do jiu-jitsu um i know how to check kicks i know how to catch kicks like i'm good with my elbows and knees so i'll keep doing a little bit of muay thai so i can keep sharp on the checking and whatnot but i really want to get good with my hands where i'm going to find the time when i'm already training you know like an hour or two a day grappling plus Muay Thai, plus MMA, like wrestling, whatever. I don't know where I'm going to get the fucking time to go box, but like I know I should and I'm going to try to find the time. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much again. One more time, we'll tell you thank you for your support. And until next time, please remember, guys, that you were your first and last line of defense. And I'm very proud of all you guys who have really kept up with your own training especially the older guys because I know how tough it can be and uh y'all are a bunch of fucking g's all right i'll see you next time later gentlemen